Shocking, it's Wednesday. Woo! We're going out to the new zoo. <laughs> Neil Anderson joins us live this morning from Swamico. Hi, Neil. How you doing? Yeah, very good. Well, we're a little bit nice and warm in here, but some of the animals that are built for this weather are our snow monkeys. But this is the time of day that they're brought inside. We're inside the, the uh, snow monkey exhibit. And this is only a few years old and really works out fantastic. There's five different areas. Right behind me, you can see Manny. Okay, he's, uh, he's our big male out here. We actually have two males. Or I shouldn't say that's Manny, this is Kozo. Manny's over in another cubicle. There's like five different uh, spots in here. We've got a total of uh, 12 snow monkeys in here. And one of the things, if you remember uh, last year, last June, we brought uh, Manny in. Now he's a younger male, he's only about nine years old. Kozo's about 18 years old. He's been here for 10 years. Manny's been here for about six months. We're trying to get them used to work going out there with the girls. So what happens then is at this particular time, all the monkeys are brought in. They like to spend the cold nights outside. They would prefer that. They come in and then the outside is cleaned. But what we have to do is we have to be able to shift in this building one male out with all the females every day. So today, it is uh, Kozo's turn to go out. Now, we haven't been able to get the two males out together uh, with the females, and uh, that's a long process, and hopefully we can get that accomplished, you know. But, you know, how we get cabin fever sometimes? Mm -hmm. You know, so do these guys too, you know, and uh, we did have a couple little monkey fights out there. And uh, what we're going to do is Dr. Gilbert's going to be in the, um, probably in the next segment, too. we're hoping she'll be out here. And what we have here, this is Higashi. And Higashi is one of our older females, and uh, she got in a battle with somebody out there. And we don't know if it was an overnight battle or what. And she received uh, several cuts across her back, oh, as you oh can my, see. Look at that! And, you know, and it really looks—I mean, it looks probably worse than it actually is because she had to be shaved down. She's in an isolation area in a small cage area, and this is a nice little cage setup. And she's fine in here, and she's got a good rapport and works well with her zookeeper so that they can go ahead and properly medicate her. This is also a restraint device, so <clears throat> she can, this can be slid over so she can, <clears throat> excuse me, get any injections or anything. But, you know, because it is very, very difficult to get primates to eat medicine, even if it tastes good. You see right here, uh, Jess has, our, our zookeeper has a lot of different Things here, you know, from donut holes to peanut butter to graham crackers, and you got to keep trying different things. And different medicine tastes different. You know, there's some that they can flavor, some they can't, and then some, you know, you just have to have a facility like this to be able to work on her. But we're hoping in the next segment we'll have Dr. Gilbert out here, and Dr. Gilbert will be able to explain kind of what she did in the work because. With the injuries that she did receive, she had to go through uh, several different surgeries, and she's doing real well. You know, and the big thing with this is, you know, keeping the stress down with her. Um, she's in this cage, and what we do during the day, just so she's not isolated from the rest of the troop, is this rolls out into the hallway, so they can come out and visit her. Hmm. Ah. But she, do they know but who did she, it? Do we well, know the culprit, we, the suspect? Well, you know, we kind of think it might be Manny, the young male that's out there, you know, and he's exercising his dominance and everything. And, you know, especially with an older female, that could, that could be, you know, could be the, the, the problem. Uh, like I say, he was brought here uh, in the hopes that uh, he was a lone animal at the Central Park Zoo, that we could get him, assimilate him into this troop, and hopefully we can get that done. But that's kind of what we're thinking mm -hmm. right now with, uh, with her. But she's, like I said, she's doing real well, but... Uh, she certainly did uh, get in uh, uh, quite a Poor quite thing. a scrap there. Yeah. Yes. Right, Neil. We'll, we'll check back with you and see. Uh, see what the doctor has to say. Exactly. Yeah. There check you the go. surveillance cameras. Check the tape. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> see you, Neil. We'll see ya.